guys it's Flory welcome back to my channel how y'all doing you know um I've been okay I'm doing okay I, I don't know it's been a kind of a I've been in a blah mood you know and it's been really really hard to try to I don't know I just been really blah <laughs> and I've been trying really really hard to get out of that funk you know and I thought what am I gonna do because it's like I, I need to make some videos and I'm like and what can I do, you know, but that I, you know, because it's like I'm on a kind of in, like I said, in a little funk. And I thought, what? This is easy. What makes me happy? It's like, let's talk some polish. Polish talk. It's been so long since I did a polish talk video. And this would be polish talk number six. And I, I'm going to have to definitely look at my notes because I prepared the polishes for this video quite a while ago so um my memory of them was probably not going to be as sharp as it usually is <laughs> but i do have good notes so i'm going if I, you catch me looking down that's what i'm going to be doing and i do have my pictures on my computer but let's go ahead and get started because i'm excited i got some eight random polishes that i just picked that were just in you know kind of hanging around and i thought let's swatch these puppies and and then um then i can put them away <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started because this kind of stuff this is what it makes me happy it makes my heart my polished loving heart kind of jump for joy so um i think this will help me get out that little funk i'm in okay so let's go ahead and get started so the first one i want to talk about is a opi color and this is kind of perfect for right now um this is you know an old like i said these are oldie but goodies they're not you know they're not they're just random so i mean so you know i'm not sure availability is going to be you know i'm sure that you can always find them someplace but you know i'm not really sure what the availability is but this you know it's just like you know a way to kind of talk about what we have in our stash and it's not really you know talking about current collections just shopping our stash let's go kind of kind of thing so like i said this is an opi and this is from the collection of um doo -doo, what is the collection called it's called mustang collection celebrating 50 years and this polish is called 50 years of style and it is a beautiful beautiful gold oh i don't know what you call it a metallic finish um really really pretty and it's like i said perfect for this time of year so um this gold like i the notes i put down is a straight up golden polish is exactly what a gold polish should be and that's what i wrote it's a two coats to full opacity um it's a, got a beautiful formula and it's from the 2014 Mustang collection. Um, but the picture I'm looking at, you just have to be probably careful of the brush strokes on this. But it was really easy to work with. And it does have that really, really pretty kind of like a, a white gold finish. It's, kind, it's, it's between a white and a yellow gold finish. It's not really um, in your face gold, but it's not really... Uh, you know it's kind of got a little bit of a muted golden look to it but it's gorgeous and it's pretty and this is the bottle shot of that puppy oh we got look like it got a little dark there but anyways that's the bottle shot of it and um and i love the little mustangs on the on the top <laughs> anyways um i know i probably got this you know i i never ever buy my opis um full price unless it's got to be something very special that it's like okay i'm not gonna take a chance of this not being available um later so uh, unless that happens but more than likely i got this on clearance from um, probably ulta or something but anyways this is a good one and this is called 50 years of style so let's go ahead and look at the picture and tell me what you think about that okay So yeah, 
gotta excuse my cuticles. My cuticles are looking very bad in this picture, but <laughs> they're looking very dry. But the polish, we'll just look at let's talk about the polish. Like I said, a little bit more stroky, um, but like I said, easy to work with, and I know this is gonna be good base for a lot of different things. And speaking of which, the next one is gonna be a china glaze, and this is called Bringing on the Bubbly. Let me go to the next picture on my computer and let's see. So I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this one is a, is a golden glitter. And look at that. It's got tons of iridescent, beautiful, shiny glitters in there. And gold glitters all in a clear base. Um, this looks like, yeah, it's just got probably like, um, look at, I don't know, medium size um, hex hexes of the iridescence. And then the gold glitters are micro glitters. And um, the brush and everything, it, you can see that you're going to get a good good um, deal of glitter on the brush. So this is a good one. It's not one that you're going to, you just get lots of base, lots of base. It's not. Let's go ahead and see what I, look, what I wrote down. So this is very sparkly and gold topper glitter in a clear base. Lots of gold glitters. Um, and gold holographics um, glitters makes it stand out. So yeah, it really does stand out. It sparkles like crazy. Um, apply in a dabbing motion. That's kind of what I thought. Um, so you wouldn't want to brush it on. You want to just kind of, you know, dab it on and it works great. Um, the swatches um, that I'm going to show you is going to be two coats of this. Bring on the bubbly over um, the 50 years of style. So this was the base in this and they looked gorgeous together. So let's go ahead and look at the picture and you tell me what you think about this awesome glitter. So, yeah, this glitter is off the hook, man. It's good. It's good. If you like a golden glitter topper, this one is one that you might want to search for. And, again, it's called Bring on the Bubbly. Um, I don't know. I'm sure it was from a collection, but I don't have, um, I don't have that written down. So, um, but yeah so like i said it's a good one and like you can if you can find it i would definitely pick it up it's a good one so let's go ahead and go on to the next one the next one is a uh, um is the simple colors and you know how i feel about my simple colors my simple colors is just like they yeah <laughs> simple colors is like i said it makes my polished love and heart just so so happy this one is called mint tropics and here it's the bottle and this is a, a kind of a, uh, yeah, can you see that? It's a cream. It's kind of like a bluish minty green color. Um, it's beautiful, bright, and vivid green blue cream. Um, it's, a, it's got a thicker formula I wrote down. Um, two coats to full opacity. Really nice, even formula. Um, you got to be careful because it will stain your nails, I wrote. And it came from the 2014 Turn Up the Heat collection. So this one, like I said, it's not available anymore, but I'm sure you can still find it someplace, somewhere, um, probably online, not in the stores or anything. I mean, it, maybe, you never know. But um, So this is a good one. It's a beautiful color. Um, you want to make sure you get, wear a good, good base coat because it will stain and um i really really like the color and i think um i think uh you, it looks a little i don't know if it's a little streaky or not i'm looking at my picture and so you let me know what you think um you know, maybe i could have went for a third coat on looking at the picture now so go ahead and take a look at the picture and you just kind of you know mint tropics just tell me what you think about it So what did you think about that? Did you like it? I think it's a great color. It's bright. It's um really, I mean, I, I think it's a color a lot of people like now. I mean, it's really, you know, it's nice. It's very nice. I like it. I don't know if I call, I don't know if it's a minty color or not, but, but you never know. Mint Tropics. <laughs> I don't know. The next one is still Simple Colors. And this one, a lot of people, um, we're wondering how they compare together because this one's called Wonder Mint. And this one's more on the blue side. And the other one kind of looks like a blue-green. And you can kind of see this one right here. 
and um let me show you the difference between the two so um this one right here is the uh, mint tropics and this one's wonder mint so you see this one leans more greenish blue and this one's more blue just and so i don't know um why they call them both like a minty color i don't know i'm not sure why they did that but they came out around the same time um this is number 15.99 i know as simple color girls we like to look at the numbers that way we know we can see where where um you know it's kind of easier to check our collections <laughs> um so this is wonder mint let me see um just it's described as a pastel mint color cream polish um, I would describe the color as a very bright turquoise blue, opaque in one to two coats, and dries very glossy. And I got this in my I got I got this one in like a Target beauty box, so um, I'm I'm sure it was available to. I don't think it was exclusive to the Target beauty box. And again, I know this is a, one of those limited edition colors, but you might be able you still be able to find it in these dashes or online. People, you know. You, they're easy to find so this one like i said is called um wonder mint and go ahead and look at the picture here it is yeah like i said great formula dries very glossy um just i really really like it so um those two were just kind of interesting how they both came out around the same time and they both were caught the 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 name mint in it but you know <laughs> so there's a comparison of the two um the next one i have is uh julie g polish and this is another one that's kind of really good for this time of year um although it's you know it, it was it's probably not one you can get now but you, i mean you have to go looking for it if you want but Anyways, this is a um, Julie G uh, textured polish, and it's called Ho Ho Ho, I believe. <laughs> and it is so, so pretty. So pretty. Look at that. So pretty. So pretty. Okay, so let me tell you about this. This is a one to two coater. It's a beautiful pink textured polish. It does dry textured. Um, densely packed with pink and silver micro glitters. Wow um doesn't dry too heavily texture so it's really not really a heavy texture i mean it's kind of smooth so probably a just a regular top coat would probably suffice uh, wore very nicely and easy to remove um it's from the 2013 frosted gems um frosted gum drop collection so you know that was a really popular collection i believe but this is oh so so pretty it's a great julie g um and like i said it's one to two coder so it's no no problems with um with um formula and everything so it's really easy to to handle and um wasn't a, wasn't at all a bear to remove so this was a good one if you can still find it someplace good one. I would and definitely i would get this and pick it up if you could find it i mean People might, you know, be selling it, do stash, whatever. But I love it. I love it. It's so, so pretty. So go ahead and look at the picture. And, oh, I, I adore it. If you like texture polish, this is a great one. If you can find the Gun Drops collection from anyone, take a look. yeah that color that color is just i don't know is it it's kind of really like a pinky red or is it a strawberry i don't know what color i would describe it it is so pretty that color is just beautiful maybe it's like a rose color i don't know <laughs> it's just gorgeous i think now the next one i am so sad because i cannot find the bottle of my polish and i don't know why i looked everywhere and it's one of the reasons why i kind of had um haven't done this video yet because i've been looking for this darn polish and i did feature this polish in one of my, in my um um summer i believe it was the summer um my summer top summer polishes or something and I know I had it for that video. I don't know where it went. So I'm sure it's going to show up after I'm done with this. But I know um, I still have the picture. And if you do want to look at the bottle, I'm, I'll link the video that of the summer, um, my summer best summer polishes or whatever. I'll put it up in this little eye thing and I'll also link it down below. But um, I might just leave it up there. You can click up there. That's probably the easiest thing to do. 
Um, but anyways, yeah, just a gorgeous polish. Um, it's an oily polish and it's called Cheeky. I love oily. I don't think oily gets as much love as it deserves. I, I think they're really nice polishes. I don't think many people talk about it so much, but but I think they're just great polishes. And I don't know. I I don't know. I I like buying Orly. I like picking up um, pieces here and there from Orly whenever I see them. But anyways, Cheeky is a medium peach with gold and gold shimmer. And um, okay, so I wrote I got a love hate love relationship with this polish because the formula for me was tricky, which made me upset. <laughs> But then the color and the finish and lasting power made me fall in love and made the work worth it. <laughs> so I really had a strong opinion about this polish. So it's from the 2014 Spring Blush Collection. So, yeah, so the formula, you're going to have to work with it. But, you know, I I think the, the result is going to be worth it if you... Um, if you give it a chance so um i'm going to have you look at the picture because i love the way the shimmer in this polish it really does reflect on the nails and i just think is i mean it was beautiful beautiful polish so anyways let's go ahead and have a look at the picture and then you can tell me how you feel about it and whenever i find that darn polish i'll show you the bottle one day <laughs> so here is the picture So what did you think? Isn't that a gorgeous color? I just the 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 color of it and the the way the the glass flick shimmers just kind of pop off the nail. I love it. I love it. And then you know, once you get over the struggle, I think it's worth it. So <laughs> you know, sometimes we just have to. Sometimes we gotta fight for it, right? <laughs> so the next one I have is a um, polish from Nina Ultra Pro. And um, I get these from Sally's, and um, I like this brand too. This is another brand that nobody really ever talks about, and they do have some really nice polishes. But this one is called um, Ohoy oh Matey, and it's just a really, really kind of pretty um, um, cornflower blue. I don't know. Is it dusty? Okay, this is what I wrote. I wrote a dusty navy polish. And it is dusty. It does have a really kind of dusty look to it. Um, so it's not really, really bright. But it's not, you know, it's not really, like, dull either. But it's kind of, like, right there in the middle a little bit. But it is a really pretty color. And um, the brush in this, I like. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Mega Last brush. It's a little wider. But it's not as... It's not as um, wide. It's just a little bit wider, but not quite as wide. It's easy to work with, and I do like the brush on these on these polishes. Really nice. And um, so this is called a Hoi Matey, and it's a slightly dusty um, mauve, uh, um, blue, I'm not saying mauve, um, polish. as a two-coat polish with an excellent formula. So great formula, dries highly glossy, no staining issues. So I didn't have any staining issues with this, so... But I would still definitely wear a base coat with any with any blue, any red, or any any color that's more bright than anything. I would definitely wear a base coat because that that pigment will get you. So um, go ahead and look at the picture. And, and this is a beautiful polish. And so I don't know if you haven't tried any ultra pro polishes, I would recommend that you pick up a few and tell, and try them out. So have a look at the picture. So there you go. That was a great polish. I do. And I, you know, that blue is just a great blue. I think it's a perfect kind of color for this time of year again. So anyways, here's the last polish we're going to talk about for this video. And this is another OPI. And this is called just uh, Lenane Around. So this is a really gorgeous, like a dusty rose mob color. I love this color. I don't know. I think a lot of people call this like an old lady color or a grandma color. But I don't. I just think this, I think this color is just really, really beautiful. And it's, it's kind of like a, 
I guess it is a more sophisticated kind of color. But I wouldn't call it a lady or anything. But I think it's beautiful. I don't know. I don't know. So you guys might think different. But I don't think it's old lady. But I grew it down as a pinky mauve cream polish with a slight shimmer. Opaque in two coats. It dries glossy. And it's from the 2015 Hawaii, 2015 Hawaii um, Spring Collection. So here you go. This is the beautiful um, bottle shot. And go ahead and look at the picture. And, and you can see what you see in the bottle is exactly what you get on the nail. So go ahead and have a look. Okay, guys, that's it. That's it um, for my polish talk number six. And that's um, eight polishes that we talked about. And, yeah, it's been so long since I did one of these videos. And I, I know I need to get back to it because I really, really like getting the the randomness and just you know just grabbing from here and there and you know kind of grab bags kind of grab bag style and then you um just you know talk about the polishes and i do feel better <laughs> so just talking about polishes make me feel better so thank you thank you guys you guys are my buds i i knew that i could count on you to kind of cheer me up so this this is um it for polish talk number six make sure make sure i got my mad video up and you want to go check it out um you know us mad ladies we always have a, a good giveaway going on and it's my turn right now so you want to check out my video and uh see what i'm giving away and after my turn guess what it's somebody else's turn and they got they're gonna have a great giveaway also so there's always a giveaway going on from the mad group map group and uh, it's so much fun we just like doing that to thank you all for all your support and um you know i want to say thanks to all of my new subscribers you guys are just I, it's just, I just don't even know what to think. It's, it just makes me speechless, speechless because it's like it's so unexpected that I have um, um, as many subscribers as I do. Which, you know, in YouTube life or terms, it's not that many. But in my in my life and my terms oh yeah I, i'm like wow how did that happen you know and i truly do appreciate it i do i do i just think it's awesome and um i just want to let you know how much i appreciate you guys and i just want to thank you uh, make sure you guys check out that map, map video because it's a good giveaway and um if you're watching this after mine is over go and check out the other one because there's always one going on okay um all right, so that's all I have for right now. I do have a playlist that I'm going to link down below and also have this up here in that little eye um, for the um, all of my other Polish Talk videos. If you're interested, if you are a Polish a holic or a Polish nail, at, or nail polish addict, like, um, like a lot of us are, you know, you might want to go back and check those out because they're timeless. You know, you know, you just, it's Polish Talk. It's Polish Talk. There's no expiration date on those, so... <laughs> So go ahead and check those out. And um, all right. So that's all I have for right now. And I hope you all are doing okay. And I know things are kind of funky now. But we all um, just need to keep smiling. Okay. That's all we got to do. There's nothing else we can do. So we'll just keep smiling. And we'll see you next time. All right. Guys. Much love. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.